Okay, Rahul, just wait for one, two minutes. Let them join. Excuse me. Okay, I have posted something. You can see in the chat box your Google Classroom code. You have to submit those assignments there. In the previous class, I have given you some questions about noun and all those things I will submit there. Are you able to see this one? The Google Classroom code? Yes or no? No, ma'am. In the chat box? No, ma'am. Chat disabled. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Chat is box is disabled. Is you people are able to see or not? ETGFFWS. No. Yeah. You people are able to see, na? Ma'am, resend again. Huh? Resend, ma'am. There are two messages only. You don't have to answer me in that chat box. You just people see. I just note it down. Not visible, ma'am. Still not visible. Yes, ma'am. Is it? Yes, ma'am. Not visible. Okay. Now share this one with your friends. Okay. You have to submit there by mentioning your name, roll number, and all those things. Okay. Where, 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 where we were? Yeah, these were the questions. Again, I am repeating. Name any 10 nouns around you and classify them accordingly. How are feminine forms formed in English? Give examples. This assignment you have to submit is that Google Classroom. The code I have already mentioned there. Now, next one I was talking about this pronoun. Reciprocal pronoun we have completed. Yeah. Demonstrative pronoun. Now I'm coming. This, that. These, those. These, that, these, those. Now, what are those things? Where we use this? This is my house. This is my pain. So, where, where we can say we use this? Where we use this? Can anyone? Where we use this or that? Kaha use kartam to demonstrate something. That kaha use hoga? When we use that, that means that somehow occurred previously. Now, not it is recent, 
it has occurred previously at that time we use that we use these when it is at present when we can see those things which is most recent and t h i s these and t h e s e these where we use this is used for a singular form and these is used for a plural form when we talk about something which is in a group or more than two that time we use these now that i have already told that that we use which has occurred previously now those now where we use those ab hum log those ka use kaha karte hain where we use those when we speak something when we use those ka use hum kaha karte when something is when something is uh, at some distance away from us or which is something which is away from us is it which is away from us usme hum log kya use karte hain those hai na those ka use hum tab karte hain which is something away can you give me any example of those can you give example of those any example of those ko example humko bata sakte ho those ka those people play antarctic what 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 is repeat those people play uh, play antarctic those people play antarctic okay next those are my books those are my books very good next i remember those days saves the old man Does it correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hello. My parents used to listen to those old Hindi songs. Is it correct? is it clear to you people yes ma'am yes those these these that those dekho ye sab cheez jo hai this are we use generally but we don't know where to demonstrate these things you all people are familiar with this types of word these that these those but when i came or uh, when i just ask you people the questions you people get confused that oh really we don't know where we use where to use what is the correct uses of those things how many of you know the things which i am saying you how many people are just really by heart you tell me do you know the proper uses of these things can anyone say that no i know all these demonstrative pronouns where i have to use by heart you say mira tu yes or no do you know these things clearly nahi pata tha ma'am ha clearly nahi pata tha use karte the but use karte the kahan use karna hai ye nahi pata hai na Accurately, we don't know where we have to use. और ये हमारा sentence में correct है कि नहीं है. We know हाँ यार this होगा, we use this, we हाँ यार this ही होगा. But 
कहा होगा क्यों होगा वी डोंट नो द आंसर नाउ दिस इज आवर न्यू हाउस दैट इज द ब्रिज बिल्ड बाय द ब्रिटिश नाउ डेमोस्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउंस हैव नंबर कॉन्ट्रास्ट these these that those the basic function of demonstratives is to indicate the nearness or distance of the person or object it refer to from the speaker some of the uses of demonstrative pronouns are shown below when painting sorry when pointing this is my brother ravi this is his new car sorry that is his new car when a specific category is implied those who apply late will not be considered when there is a reference to a previous statement or a statement that follows this is what i told them that is my opinion on the matter note difference between it and this it's my opinion on the matter this is my opinion on the matter what happen if we use it is my opinion on the matter that means either you can accept it or you can not accept it but particularly when he is saying that this is my opinion on the matter that means he is 100% assured that you have to take my opinion now it is a personal pronoun where it is a demonstrative pronoun as a demonstrative pronoun this indicates nearness and also identifies a person or thing the use of it does not convey these shades of meaning so is preferred to it for making a formal announcement or introduction this is all india radio giving you the news can we use it is all india radio giving you the news इट भी हम लोग यहाँ लगा सकते हैं ना इट हम लोग यूज कर सकते हैं कि नहीं कैन वी यूज इट यस और नो इट का यूज हो सकता है कि नहीं हो सकता है कैन वी दिस इज के जगह इट इज हो सकता है यस और नो क्या होगा इट इज ऑल इंडिया रेडियो क्या ये चीज हो सकता है ऑल इंडिया रेडियो में बोलो हा ना कुछ तो जवाब होगा so i am not getting any answer from you people okay nice so better that i should go ahead and read like i'll make sure note you people don't wish to answer me so from the second time i will not answer you and i will not ask you that if you have any confusion or not because the time when i am i am asking you the questions you people don't bother to reply mom this is laya my friend it is an answer however it is preferred to this when a contracted form is used what is this it is a new electronic device but when a contracted form is not used that is okay and you people also must be know what is a contracted form because you people are super masters i know your superior you all are very much known than me so you people don't try to answer also no ma'am no 
no, if people are superiors. No, ma'am. Next one. This is a new electronic device, reflexive pronoun. What is a reflexive pronoun? What are the forms? A reflexive pronoun is a form by attacking self or selves to the object from to the pronoun. Myself, ourself, yourself, selves, himself, herself, themselves, etc. A reflexive pronoun is used as a substitute for a noun in the objective case. That is, go as a direct object. Govin so Govin in the middle. Govin so Govin himself in the mirror. This is used to avoid an awkward construction. Govind, Govind. Gayatri laughed at Gayatri. Gayatri laughed at herself. Next. Note. Reflexive means bent back. Light में पड़े होंगे, reflex back होता है, reflection होता है. That the same meanings of this reflection means bent back. That is bending the subject back to the subject. A reflexive pronoun is used when the subject and the object refer to the same person or thing. This can be seen from and from the agreement between the subject and the reflexive object. <coughs> now. I saw myself in the mirror. I saw myself in the mirror. We dressed ourselves in the kitchen. You sent yourself a birthday card. They wrote themselves a thank you note. He hurt himself while play. He hurt himself while play. She taught herself she taught herself the piano. One should avail oneself of this chance. Now, next. It can be used as an indirect object as well. Sujata made herself a new dress. Rahu gives herself himself ears. Now, Relative pronouns. What are the words that are relative pronouns? Who, whom, which, what, that. Who, who, which, what, that. These five words are, sorry, relative pronouns. What is a relative pronoun? What is the definition? A relative pronoun relates or refers back to a noun or pronoun. Call its antecedent. All its antecedent. So relative means making a relationship with a noun or pronoun. And what is this antecedent? Can anyone of you? Antecedent is means ancestor. What you must be knowing. Ancestor ka matlab kya hota hai? The persons who were our ancestors means of who were a part of our early life. Same as the incident means the word or phrase that relate with some pronouns or establish a relationship <coughs> with those words. That is an incident. Accident, for example. And one thing must be remembered that an antecedent is always in a plural form. Wo kabhi singular form mein nahi hota antecedent. And antecedent jo hota wo hamesha plural form mein rahega. Or what does it mean? It is generally referred back to that earlier words. No. Suppose I am saying you. Definition of antecedent. What is the definition of an antecedent? No, like definition.
one example when rina when rina felt unwell she was rushed to the near she was rushed to the near hospital okay now what is the antecedent pronoun of rina what is the antecedent pronoun of rina she she hamara kya ho jana antecedent pronoun of rina because there is a relationship between rina and we know the rule of an antecedent is that it always comes before the use of a pronoun it always comes before the use of a pronoun see rina was there after in the second sentence it changes to see next one pronoun agar some example i am saying some example of antecedent i am just saying to you people kaise bana sakte ho people should be able to make people should be able to make up their own mindset about prior in schools now next one a person should be able to make a person should be able to make up their own mind about prior in schools the second sentence is incorrect a person should be able to make up their own mindset about prior in schools but if i say people should be able to make up their own mindset about prior in schools this is correct why a person ke sath hum kabhi use nahi kar sakte hain a person means a singular person and an antecedent is always in a plural form so always keep in mind when we use an antecedent it should always be in plural form not in singular form it also joins clauses so it is a pronoun as well as a conjunction relative pronouns introduce relative clauses and noun clauses I don't know who is standing at the gate which is used also as a sentence relative pronoun to introduce the relative in a sentence next the eat snacks which is unusual now interrogative pronoun who who who's which what how many interrogative pronouns are there if i ask you you will say five five, five interrogative pronouns who who who's which what the forms of relative pronouns the forms of relative pronouns and interrogative pronouns are identical but their functions are different the former joins clauses 
but later ask questions. Who can come as the subject or as the object in a clause? Here who refers only to persons, not to things. Please remember this one. Who can come as the subject or as the object in a clause? Here, who refers only to persons, not to things. Next, please give me one example of this relative pronoun. Any one example of relative pronoun? Any one of you? Ma'am, sentence. Yeah, sentence. Sentence. This is the girl who broke the window. Okay, next. Who discovered America? Who do, did you invite for lunch? Who are you talking about? In current English, whom is rarely used as the object? Who is preferred from? Okay. Now you will taste, you will find whom ka use you have. Nowadays, it's not so much as the use of who. We generally use who all in our terms, who very rarely we use. That's why I mentioned that in current English, whom is rarely used as the object, who is preferred form. Next one. Whose is the positive form of whom? It can stand for both animate and inanimate nouns in interrogative expression. What is this animate and what is this? Inanimate nouns. Animate ka matlab kya noun hai or inanimate ka matlab kya noun hai? What is the meaning of animate and inanimate? What is the meaning of an animate and inanimate noun? Animate nouns generally refers to living. the people, persons, this living things. Okay. Um, yeah, and inanimate so. nouns means those are not alive or non living things. That is the difference between an animate noun and an inanimate noun. Sometimes someone will say that which is in motion is an animate which is not in the motion, it is inanimate. That means the same, that which one is living, it is an animate, which is not living, it is an inanimate noun. Now, do you know whose book won the award this year? This refers to the author. So will it be animate or inanimate? Inanimate. Inanimate. Why? Because pages are non living things. <laughs> but it is referring to the author. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I just saw this next uh, example. <laughs> it is author referring, no? Yes, ma'am. Animate. Do you know whose book won? Whose book? Yes, ma'am. This writer. Whose person? Yes, ma'am. You have to understand the question first. Next one. I borrowed a book from the library whose pages are all torn. I borrowed a book from the library whose pages are all torn. Kiska pages are torn? Hai? Book ka pages. Books, yeah. So, ye kya ho jayega mara? Inanimate. Inanimate. No. Which is used for both people and things. When there is an implied choice or selection. <coughs> Which card game do you like to play? Which teacher do you like best? So animate and inanimate. Now is it clear for you people? 
animate or inanimate. Yes, we yes, have to understand the question. The question hamara kya bol raha hai? Animate ke liye or inanimate ke liye? Next one. What as subject or object is used to refer to things only? What is in your pocket? What's wrong with you? Now, note. Who is used for asking questions about person's name? What for seeking information about a person's profession? Who is that gentleman talking up to your father? He is Mr. Reddy. What is he? He is an artist. Next. Which first possess a set and the person is being asked about his choice? What on the other hand does not presuppose any set and there is no choice in him? Which do you want? That means they need your opinion, they need your choice. Which one? If you will say I want the red one, you will say the red one, the black one. If you don't wish to, the red one. What do you want? Some coffee. What do you want? Some cold water. Now, indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns constitute a Heterogeneous set. What is this heterogeneous set? What is it? Heterogeneous set. Kya hota hai? Indefinite pronouns may heterogeneous set kya hota hai? Heterogeneous means first, please tell me. Mixture of two different substances. What? Mixture of two different material. Different material. Kis tarako? Synonyms and antonyms. Which cannot be mixed uh, perfectly. <coughs> Which cannot be mixed. Okay. The synonyms and antonyms can be similar. Do synonyms and antonyms can be similar? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Huh? No, ma'am. Heterogeneous are not a mixture of uh, completely. Wait a moment. Synonyms and antonyms are heterogeneous. Yes, ma'am. Is it Yes, ma'am. It composed of different kinds. <coughs> you can say dissimilar. Now I say this convocation was attended by a heterogeneous group of lecturers. That means a different types of people from various departments had attended this conference. So this is a heterogeneous conference. So indefinite pronouns constitutes a heterogeneous set. What this means? Heterogeneous set means kya hoga amara? It's which are not of same kind. Which are composed of different types. That is, we are, I, that is why I use this word here, heterogeneous. Now, one can go about classifying them differently using different criteria. There are certain criteria under which we divide this indefinite pronouns. What are these certain kinds? First one is universal pronouns. This universal pronouns. Each, every, all. Each refers to two or more people or things Whereas every refers to three or more. 
further. Each presupposes a set supplied by the context. Every does not. Rajiv walked into the room and gave a sweet to everyone, not each one, but each and every take off constructions following them. So thus all. All can occur immediately before a no. There is more, therefore it is more like a determinant. At times, a definite article can intervene between all and the noun. All the girls want to imitate curry. What do you mean by this imitate? Imitate means what? The meaning of this word imitate. Any one of you please can tell me what is the meaning. What meaning here? Imitate. What is the meaning? Imitate. Copying copy someone. Her. Yeah, to copy someone. Copy of some behavior. Yeah, copy. Nakal karna. Yes. Anything it can be your behavior, your style, your style of wearing, all those things can come up. Okay. Each of you should attend the function. Every one of them came to see me in hospital. Next. Assertive pronouns. There are five, five subclasses in this. Much more most. Many more mozi. Little, less, least, few, fewer, fewest. Less goes, less goes with uncountable nouns and fewer with countable nouns. Occasionally less can be found with count nouns too. Expressions denoting periods of time, sums of money, etc. Take less. There is less orange juice in my glass. There are few public holidays this year. Several and enough. Several occurs with plural countable nouns only. Now, one thing I'm going to repeat it again. If anyone don't know about the Google Classroom code, please ask your friends and join and submit your assignment of nouns in the Google Classroom code. I have already shared with you in the chat box. Okay, all of you please go through once the chat box you will get. And you can also note it down if you have not written it. All the alphabets will be in a small letter. That is T, T, double T, G, double F, W, S. Got it? Double T, G, double F, W, S. It is also in the chat box. Here you have to submit. All of you, it is clear about the Google Classroom? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Several are enough. Several occurs with plural counter. And uh, by Sunday, this Sunday, please all of you submit in the Google Classroom. Several occurs with plural countable nouns only. Enough can occur with both countable and uncountable nouns. Enough like several can proceed or follow the head noun. Hanif and I met and spoke to several craftsperson at the fair. Have you packed enough food for a day? Have you packed food enough for a day? Now, use of one. The use of one as a pronoun.